out there. Today we're going to talk about my favorite micronutrient, and that's protein. Did you know that protein is the building block of our bodies? Number one, protein we needed to feel satiated. And by that I mean it helps to keep us feeling fuller, longer between meals. Protein balances blood sugar, and protein also helps to curb cravings. Number two, it helps us to build and maintain muscle mass and growth. And with that, muscle mass helps to burn fat and it also helps to regulate a healthy metabolism. Third, protein is great to regulate our immune system and it's great for hormonal balance. And lastly, protein is good for mental health balance and mood stability. Amino acids. Proteins are made of amino acids. There are nine total essential amino acids, and our body can't produce or manufacture amino acids. Therefore, we must obtain them, and the best way to obtain them is through animal protein, because animal protein is comprised of all nine essential amino acids. Protein intake and how to increase your protein intake. First of all, from all of the books that I've read and the articles that I've studied on protein, now this is just my opinion, it looks like per on average for women that they need about 20 grams of protein with each meal and men require about 30 grams with each meal. Now I'm not saying you can have less or more or what your body truly needs. That's something that you need to figure out on your own. But upon average, it looks like that they're saying women should have about 20 grams of protein with each meal and men should have about 30. So what are some ways that you can increase protein intake in your daily habits? First of all, you can pre-cook batch cook protein, have it ready in your refrigerator to go. That's one easy way to get your protein in because sometimes we forget we run out of the house and we don't have anything. So pre-cook and batch cook proteins to have on hand in your refrigerator. That's one of the best ways. The other thing, you can hard boil eggs. Hard boiled eggs are great for protein and they're great to have as snacks. So that's just a couple of ideas um, and ways to increase your protein intake throughout the day. So here's a great grocery shopping tip for protein. If possible, and if it's within your budget, now we're all not perfect and we have to prioritize what we can, but if it's in your budget, I recommend buying grass-fed pastured beef or poultry. And the reason for that is in your conventional raised um, cows or chickens, a lot of times they're grain-fed, of course. And by that, what happens is these animals are exposed to extra toxins, environmental toxins, fungicides, possibly antibiotics, and all of those toxins that they've been exposed to end up landing in their fat. So if you are eating, say, a drumstick or a chicken thigh with the skin on, all you're doing is you're consuming the toxins that that animal has been exposed to. So if you want to eat the fat of meat, which is good, I'm not, I'm not going to say it's not. So if you want to eat the fat of the animals or a fatty cut of beef from the animals, make sure that you're getting the 100% pastured, um, grass-fed raised beef or poultry because you don't want to be consuming the toxins that that animal has been exposed to. Now, if you're going to buy the grain-fed or the conventional raised beef or poultry, that's okay. Just look for the leaner cuts of meat. That's all I'm asking. You just look for the leaner cuts of meat so then therefore you're not going to see the marbling, you're not going to have the fat on the edges, and you're less likely to be ingesting nearly as much of the toxins that the animal was exposed to in its environment. So let's recap protein. Most importantly, you learned that it does keep you full longer and it's also a good thing for blood sugar regulation and it also helps to curb cravings. So just remember to try to get as much protein as you can with each meal. And also remember that it is the building block of our body and it also helps to contribute to muscle mass. So make sure you're getting enough protein.